the last thing I wanted to ask you is how does one live an interesting life? Because you've done so much interesting mm. shit. You, you've studied Kung Fu with monks. You've trained MMA, which we brushed upon, but you, you wrote in, in another book that talks about your MMA training. You've studied Bruce yeah. Lee, who's also a fascinating guy. If one is feeling like they're stuck in a boring rut, how does one make their life more interesting and make a, a life worth retelling? Um, I'm not sure that's a good thing to do. Like, uh, I, you know, I have done it. Um, I'm not sure I advise it for everyone. But I do think that there is, if you really feel trapped, um, there is a, a tremendous value in uh, stepping off the ladder um, and running off and doing something kind of crazy. Um and it, it, you usually take a short-term hit from it, but I think the long-term gains are worth it in mm. many cases. So, it, but it has to be something you're genuinely passionate about. Like, you know, running off and like seeing Australia is nice, but that <laughs> you probably shouldn't lose your job over that. So if you're really going to go do something, it should be something that you're really, really crazy about, crazy passionate about. Um, and, and, the the one thing I would suggest is if you're really into something, you should go where people are really good at mm. it. Um, like if you want to be a writer, go to New York or LA, you know, don't, don't hang around your hometown of, you know, bumblefuck USA. Like yeah. you, you, if you're gonna, if you're gonna be a, a Kung Fu star, go to Shaolin temple, like, you know, go where there the great people are and hang out there long enough that you can get in and, and, and go do it. And that's despite our techno technology, it actually matters to be in the place where that thing is happening. 